and this time I'm going to show you how to do a cup. This will be a longer video, maybe, maybe you know, 15 minutes or so. I'm going to show you everything I do. So let's say you got a piece of clay that's crooked, okay? So let's start with centering, all right? You're going to put one hand here, one hand here. First, you're just going to push forward with both hands from the bottom part. Not just forward from the top, you want that bottom to be kind of straight too. Okay, now that it's kind of straight like that, you'll feel it, the wobble kind of leaves. Then you're going to put your, if you're right handed, put your right hand here. And your left hand, you're going to go down to the, to, you're going to go down to the corner and to the side. To the corner and on the top, to the corner, to the side, like this. Toning it up, pushing it down. See, you can see the difference. Coning it up, pushing it down. Sometimes when you cone it up, you're gonna feel that you got it off center sometimes, or when you're pushing it down. So just keep repeating that. You're gonna be using the tips of your finger, the pads, not like digging in, but just the pads of your fingers right here. Um, and, you're, and then this part, you're not hugging it with this part at all. It's just kind of like clamping it like this. Okay, like that. Then this this corner right here and this thumb doesn't go right back here. It goes right between these two points, kind of like a Mercedes symbol. Okay, and you're going to go up and down. Cone it up, push it down. You don't need to cone up high. You'll see a lot of pot potters coning it up really high. And there's no need for that at all. The more uh, really skilled potters that you see on YouTube, the more you'll realize that you absolutely don't need to do that. Another trick is don't keep dipping your hands when you have a bunch of slip right here. The best thing for the clay is slip, not water. Another thing is, put your thumbnail in there. Let that bump hit your thumbnail. You know, dig out that little corner that keeps bumping you everywhere. Okay. So that's just about center there. So now you're gonna put a well in the middle. I'm gonna use this part of my thumb, not the tip, but this part just to make a little divot. You'll feel the center. If it starts moving your thumb around, that means you're not in the center. So just find that center and do it slow. If you do it fast, it'll just make a wobble. And release slow. Everything you do is slow. You want to release slow. Even when you're pulling your walls, you want to you want to go slow. When you're about to let go of your wall, you, you let go slowly. Okay, so now I'm going to use my thumb and my pointer finger, or index finger. Make sure it's wet with slip. And we're going to be using the slip on your hand, so don't just wipe it off. I'm going to go down, and not just straight down like this, but I'm going to kind of go down at a 45 degree angle like this, so it'll create kind of a V. Mm -hmm. Okay. Slowly. Okay. Now you get some of your slip. Put it in that dry hole. It'll be pretty dry. Just make sure you get some of your slip in there. Okay. Put some of your slip on the outside too. Get your thumbnail. You want a little divot on the bottom part. Let let if it's uh, crooked on the bottom, make sure you let that crooked high point smack against your thumbnail so you're starting to dig out the uh, high point. Okay. All right. So now we got some slip on it. So now we're going to open our bottom and you're going to keep one hand on it. Maybe I'll go a little deeper first. Let's go a little deeper. That's good. Okay. So you're going to keep one hand on it against it. Get some more slip in there because you just did something else. You, if you didn't, if you did exactly what I did, then that means you just went a little deeper. You want to leave a quarter inch on the bottom. Okay, so 
you can see the level of this uh, wheel. Make sure the the level, the bottom of your cup or bowl is um, higher. Okay. Make sure it's kind of noticeably higher. You're gonna bring a finger in there, and you're gonna pull towards your hand. And while you're pulling to towards your hand, you're gonna pull your hand, both hands back at the same time, slowly. You want support on this cup, okay? It starts getting slippery. And wait, get some slip in there. It's wobbly, and then pinch the sides securely, so you can secure it a little bit. You know, you can distribute that, whatever we're making it wobble, whether it's a bump or a high point, right now you can distribute it through the rest of your cup. Okay. All right, now you've opened it, make sure you get some slip in there. Every single time you do anything, whether it's pulling or opening, uh, put some more slip in there. You're going to need it. Okay, so now we're going to condense the bottom. You're going to condense the bottom so that you don't get any S cracks while, it, while it's drying or any other kind of cracks on the bottom. Um, so what you do is you move your finger around carefully. I'm pushing this finger against this finger. So that if I did it only with this finger, my finger would just wobble around, but I got some stability on it from this finger. Then I'm gonna go right to the corner, trying to make that corner like a 90 degree angle. Okay. It's important. Unless you're making a bowl, you want a 90, like kind of like a 90 degree angle in there. Okay, so now I, I compressed it. Now I'll get a little bit of uh, I'll get a little bit of slip on there. Okay, a slip. Get some slip from your wheel. Put that in there. Get some slip. Okay. It's all about the walls now, because we're going to be hitting the walls. If you enjoy this video, or if you're getting any value from it, make sure you subscribe, because I'm a. I post every day. I post a lot of shorts videos. You get value from any of those videos. I give you permission to copy me and learn from anything I do. I'm going to put my thumb under here, make sure there's a little gap on the bottom corner. Okay, so now I'm going to do my first pull. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your fingers in here. I leave my, I leave my pointer finger out. I'm using my middle finger uh, and pretty much the, all the rest of the three. Um, you're going to be pushing the clay out you know, remember, there's a divot here anyway, so you could already um, have your have your thumb under that divot, right? You always want your thumb or whatever's on the outside to be underneath the hump. So this is this one's going to be creating that hump. This one's going to pull that hump up so that the clay will glide past your thumb, past your fingers, up to outer space. Okay, so that's how we do it. Right, so I'm gonna pinch it lightly. You're not gonna try to rip it off the wheel. I'm gonna pinch it lightly. And with your thumb on the bottom part, and I'm gonna I'm gonna secure my thumb under there with this part of my hand. So I'll have my hand around this wheel, this uh, bowl-shaped vessel against my thumb, giving it a little support. And you're gonna go up, you're not gonna stop until you get towards the top, and then you slowly let go. Don't smash through the top. Actually, when you get to the top, you wanna let go of some pressure, okay? So I'll get a little bit more water and, and let it drop on my, my rim. I'll get some slip, throw some slip on the walls, on the inside, on the outside. Every time you do a pull, condense your lid. You pinch lightly on the, on the wall, and go down with your finger like this. Okay. So, bring your thumbnail in, give yourself that little divot. The whole time you do that, you're basically just keeping it clean too. And so, now, I'm gonna hold my finger like this. 
and now you're gonna bring it up like this, okay? You can put your other thumb in your in the hole of your hand right here. And you're gonna be bringing it up like that, okay? Guess what, it's not super simple, but you mess up on it this time, I bet you'll get it next time, okay? So push out a little bit on top of your finger. Let go towards the top slowly, okay? We're doing little pulls here just to get that effect. Not effect, but get, get, get that movement of that clay. Not, we're not professionals, okay? We, we're not gonna get this done really fast. We're gonna take our time. Now that's like this, we're gonna cone it up a little bit. We're gonna bring the top, the, the top in. And uh, if you don't, while you're pulling it, it's just gonna turn to a bowl. You know all turning to a bowl, you know what I mean? Because you have a flat bottom and not a bold bottom. So there could cause problems. So you're gonna go up and in slowly and gently. And you'll see it's, it'll, it'll be very effective. It'll just start going in. It's not gonna ask you to stop. Okay, there. Now that you did that, remember we're gonna compress the top very gently. You are giving it a little squeeze with your two fingers. Okay. There you go, you're gonna scrape the bottom corner. Give yourself that love. So now that it's in, you'll be able to get more straight and more straight the more you go. So make sure you get some slip on there, okay? Be surprised how um, how dry it can get when you, and then you're fighting against it. Look, I'm doing the I love you sign. So this thumb's gonna be um, on the outside. I'm gonna be using this. Thumb's gonna be in my hand like this. Okay, I'm gonna push this time. Even though there's a divot here, I'm not gonna rely on that. I am gonna push out a little bit using the pads of your fingers. And what you push out, you're gonna be pulling up with this hand. Okay. And while you're pulling up, kind of pull towards the uh, center a little bit. There we go. I'm going to condense the top, squeezing the top. There we go. And uh, like I said, when you do it, pull towards, push towards the center just lightly, not rip it on over because then you'll collapse it and then you'll be mad. You see uh, pottery people, you know, ceramicists do that all the time on, on, on YouTube and they're all happy and laugh about it. They're not happy inside, even if they make a million of them. They're, uh, they still get a little upset. So get a lot of slip on that little crevice under there. Okay. Get some slip on there. There's a uh, Ain't nothing this thing loves. When you're pulling walls, ain't nothing that it loves more than some slip, some water, just a little bit of water, not tons and tons and tons. And I actually drip it right on the rim so it goes on the outside and on the inside, okay? So we're gonna do our next pull. This time, this time, I'm gonna hold my hand like you're shaking a hand and then just turn it like that, like that, okay? Like, come here, get over here, all right? Like that. You're gonna open it out like this. You're gonna be using this thumb now. Okay? Okay? And then this hand's gonna be on the over your thumb like this. You're gonna have this finger pushing out like it always does. You got your thumb locked for st stability. And then you're gonna use this thumb. And this hand's gonna be touching. It's gonna be touching lightly your cup. Okay? And again, you want to pull towards the middle up. Alright? Alright, here we go. I'll put all three fingers in there for you. Here we go. And I mean, by now, you guys have almost made a cup, so be careful. Alright, you're going to condense it. Now that the top's getting a little skinnier, be more gentle when you condense it. And if you're having trouble condensing, it might be because 
you don't have enough slip on your fingers. Right? Slip is your friend. As as Sin Shui Lin says, put your slip back to work. You know, that means uh, your slip does have a purpose in this whole game. I mean, there's people that use slip for uh, texturing, the, making it beautiful. I don't really understand that yet. And so, if you're a ceramicist watching this, make sure you let me know what how people use slip to texture. I've heard them using different colors, of, like. If you got a white pot, they use black clay slip on the outside. And boy, does that sound satisfying or what? Anyway, so now that we got ourselves a cup, now, you wet your hands a little bit. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna shape it, all right? I'm gonna shape it real good, okay? I want it to have a little belly, like old diner cup. And so I'll go in here, same thing. I'm saying, come over here. All right, you're gonna go like that and use your thumb underneath. Oh, let's make a little crevice for you. We're all new here, right? So, get that slip on there. That's what I'm doing right now. See me dancing around for no reason. There's always a reason. Okay, so now I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna give it some love, all right? So I'm gonna go in here. This time I'm gonna push a little more on the inside out. But I'm still got this thumb over here correcting its direction, okay? So I'm gonna go out a little bit. I'll be on top of the bump over here with my thumb. Okay. Tell me that ain't a pretty mug. I would love to go fishing and drink out of that cup of coffee with all of you. Man, what kind of fish are we catching today? You know what I'm saying? Okay, you're gonna put your sponge in there to get all the water out of the bottom. Don't rattle it around on the walls and ruin your whole cup. It's kind of like playing doctor, you know, that surgery doctor game, what's it called? Tell me in the comments what that's called. Um, all right, you go down, and when we do, you never go like this, because guess what? Your wheels are already spin at, right? My wifey does that. She'll come in with the with the sponge and go. I'm like, you're gonna just ruin everything. Anyway, so you're gonna go in. Let's pretend like this was the inside of the cup. You're gonna gently bring your sponge up the wall, okay? See that? I'm actually touching it right now. You can see that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside. You, know, you can feel it dance, just be, just be secure, okay. Let go. <laughs> it's just so easy, it makes me want to bore. Anyways, so right now, I want to, I want to give this a, a little bigger lip right there. I want to keep all right, so I made it a bigger lip. You just put your finger under there and kind of push against your finger. Make sure you got a lot of slip. I just washed my hands off because now we're gonna we're gonna clean up the bottom and get ready to take it off the wheel. And you've made your first cup. You better hit like and tell me how it goes for you, and then let me know if you got any love out of this because I love to see people succeed. All right? So we're gonna take take your wood wheel, wood wheel. <laughs> take your wooden little stick here. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go down. I'm gonna go follow the shape of my cup and you're gonna hold it with two hands. This hand's pushing down on the clay. This hand, for some reason, pushing up. Because if you have this pushing up and this pushing down like this, then you got a lot more stability, all right? You really do. So you're gonna go down on that clay, right to the wheel. Let go. Get some, uh, water and on the back of your spoon you got a little spoon on the back maybe and if not you can just use the the, the stick itself you you squeeze water on here and let it drip down that little canal and slow down your wheel let it drip down your canal keep it there cut a little bit of your bottom out and let it spin slow and that'll all come out boom shakalaka Man, you're so close to making your first cup. I'm so proud of you. Let's uh, clean up this this a little bit more here. 
Actually, let's do this. This is called a chamois. It's made out of leather, and it loves you. I, I tell you right now, it does. And I can tell because the way it moves, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so just put that on there. Put that on there. Let go, nice and slow, don't you know? Hit that sucker like a foley go. Now you're done, okay? So what you're gonna do now, let me see if I'm still recording. Yep. So what you're gonna do now, is you're gonna make your your wire very taut, like Flora and Gatsby would say, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna go from the front, and you're gonna pull it through. When you pull it through, you're gonna turn on your wheel very slow. Trust your feet. And when you go through, turn off your wheel. If you have dry hands, you're gonna take it off. Now you got yourself a pretty cool cup, huh? Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and I can't believe we're getting this far, everybody. My name's Eric Frankie, and this is Meant to be Pottery.